Good morning and welcome to Grasmore Country Park. I'm Gemma Gregory from Derbyshire County Council's Countryside Service. Um, we're here today to begin to deliver a project that started life during the worst period of the Covid pandemic. The leader of Derbyshire County Council, Councillor Barry Lewis, expressed a desire to deliver a lasting memorial to those we've lost in Derbyshire during the pandemic and to pay tribute to our amazing NHS staff. The idea of creating a memorial woodland or parkland was proposed and the Countryside Service offered Grassmore Country Park as, as a possible location. Today's event is the fruition of a lot of planning behind the scenes, as you can probably imagine, uh, but we're delighted to share with you both the design for this memorial parkland and an opportunity to help plant one of the most important trees within that design. We're honoured to have you all here to mark the start of this project and to reflect the multi-faith communities of the county to represent NHS workers and the local community of Grassmore Country Park. It's not very high tech, but I think what would be useful to look at is the, the concept behind the actual scheme. Um, the design sort of bridge, once Countryside Service found this site as the location for a comm commemorative woodland, um, I was sort of charged with Ruth in designing something that would fit in this sort of context. So we developed a scheme uh, that is much more of a parkland type theme, planting native trees that reflect um, spiritual values um, that I think are sort of cognizant with the times uh, that we are commemorating. So we have got uh, basically this is the bottom end of the site which is down at this corner here um, and there'll be an avenue, there's two avenues of trees which are the oak trees around the edge just already in place um, and then there'll be a, a line of trees that zigzag their way up from the bottom corner to a feature tree, which is the one that's planted at the top here, uh, with, with trees around it. And these are trees that have been selected for uh, their spiritual values. So we've got oaks, which represent strength um, and longevity. We've got trees like cherries, which also reflect the fragility of life. Um, the grasslands will be managed then um, for wildflower meadow to attract uh, birds and uh, insects to the site. I think I'd, I'd just like to say thank you for the massive effort from property services and our contractors to prepare the site for today um, and it's been a, a really great collaboration between the landscape design team, property Contractor. and countryside services. Absolutely. I'm very honoured to be here today uh, to see the first trees uh, planted in the memorial woodland. The idea for the woodland uh, came from a lady who contacted me during the pandemic and had lost loved ones to COVID-19, as many um, uh, people did, and wanted somewhere to remember them, to celebrate their lives. And from that conversation, uh, the concept for this memorial woodland grew. So it's a, a green, peaceful space in beautiful surroundings of, uh, of here, the Grassmore Country Park, where people can sit, walk, reflect, and remember. As well as the trees chosen for their spiritual meaning, uh, will, as we've just heard, be wildflower areas. And as well as a place of remembrance, this will be a place of life and hope, filled with wildlife, making a huge contribution to the natural health of this area and of Derbyshire as a whole. Every action like this makes a difference. Every tree planted helps boost biodiversity and tackle climate change. And in this case, honours those who we've lost as well. So I'm so proud of this uh, project and so pleased to have been able to make it happen and I thank the people of Chesterfield uh, for welcoming this woodland with such open heart arms and particularly the friends of uh, Grassmore Park. I'm sure those here today, those who live in the area and indeed people from across Derbyshire will visit, enjoy and use this place as a, a space to remember for many years to come. Thank you very much indeed. Um, well, as Chairman of Derbyshire County Council, I attend many of the, these events across the county, but few as appointed as this. COVID-19 is the biggest challenge the world has faced in generations, and everybody has been touched by it. So many of us have experienced the loss of those close to us, the trauma of ser serious illnesses and the fear and uncertainty of the unknown. While the pandemic is far from over, we can now begin the process of recovery and healing. Today is part of that process. And I'm so grateful to those that have worked to make this memorial woodland a reality. And to the friends of Grassmore Country Park who have been so supportive in the years. 
to come to with children will play amongst these mature trees and wildflower areas, whilst others remember and celebrate the lives of those who were lost in this woodland. The pandemic will make this, them a memory, like a, an old film or a textbook. It will be an event that's seen us rise from the darkness, where lives thrive and where hope is part of every leaf and flower. Thank you all for being with us today and for being part of this special place. Thank you. This is a wonderful thing, a project, a wonderful project and a wonderful time to be here. Um, to say just a little bit to how to best remember those who we've lost. These are pe Many of these people are people who died before their natural time. And um, one very inspiring teaching I, I learned within Buddhism was how to, how to value their time with us, how grateful we should be and how grateful all their friends and, and, and family are to having spent some time with them. Thank you. As representative of the Jewish faith, it's a great honour to be invited to lend support to this enterprise. As with all the Abrahamic faiths, trees hold great symbolism, positive spiritual meanings, and it's traditional for many Jewish communities to plant memorial trees and memorial groves, any of which I'll be delighted to discuss with you at greater length in warmer climes <laughs> out of the weather. So I'd just like to conclude with a, a very short uh, prayer. May those who pl plan the planting, enable the planting, and carry out the physical work to plant trees be blessed in their work by Adonai our God, ruin of the universe, who have kept us alive, preserved us, and enabled us to reach this season. Amen. It's a great pleasure to be here, as has been echoed by uh, my previous speakers. I'm sure most of us here have somehow, in some manner, been touched by this pandemic, whether it's the loss of loved ones or close friends. Up until a week ago, um, we were counting ourselves to be quite lucky, but unfortunately I lost my father a week ago. And I think the legacy of my father is something that is intertwines with the values of the NHS. My father always had a smile on his face, welcomed people from all walks of life and all religions, embraced them. And I think the overall legacy which my father leaves behind, and we've had people from uh, church leaders, people from different faiths, people that I don't even know from different countries that had come into contact with my father at some point during their journey of life. And the one thing that they will remember fondly is the smile on his face, the gentleness and the kindness. And I say this why, because as he was in hospital in his last few days, the NHS and the people that we met and the people that cared for him they had those same values. They saw across colour, religion, or where my father came from, and looked after him and gave him the dignity that he required as a human being. They allowed us to be there with him until he breathed his last. So I think this memorial, as we're planting these trees, and it means many different things um, in different you know, faith traditions, but overall, new beginnings and I hope that when I look back now and as I was sitting with my family and I thought of the legacy that I wanted to leave behind for my two children you know our children have got a lot to contend with uh, you know the, the rising cost of living and if you're from a black and minority ethnic background like myself the rise of the far right so they've got lots of things to contend with but the one thing that we can help them is for us gathered here today and indeed people around the world is to leave behind a legacy of love and inclusion for all, and to value each other as human beings. Thank you. Just a few words from me, just to say thank you to the County Council and partners for, for thinking about this memorial and what, what more fitting, uh, lasting memory of this really challenging time could there be. And as Councillor Lewis says, something that will carry on and live on. The truth is, uh, COVID-19 has affected all of us in different ways, some directly, some indirectly, and, and it will continue to do so for a long time to come, both in, 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 in its current form 
but in, as I say, the effects that will touch us all for many, many generations to come. But this feels to me an honourable and a lasting memory for us all to reflect on, and my thanks go to all who, th who thought of it, considered it, and, and made it happen. Clearly in the NHS family we've lost dear friends and colleagues ourselves, but we've also been party of uh, those other tragedies that have affected other people and it's been an honour and a privilege to, to do that. But the last thing I would say is the response to COVID-19 has not been a purely NHS one. We've all played a part. The partnership in Derbyshire has been very strong across healthcare, local authority police and all other partners that have helped us respond and continue to do so. So thank you again. Uh, for inviting me here and, and for your for your words of kindness. Thank you. But it's great that we're together marking this sad, sombre time, but also with hope for the, for, for the spring and for, just please, all that may come. So a time of hope and all credit to the council, for, for the county, for organising this and getting us together in this way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Lewis, Councillor Warmby to uh, help plant the tree. Yep, one, three, one, two, three.